In these difficult times, it's important that we find positives. So I thought we'd make a short film about what we're working on to make the planet a cleaner and a healthier place for the generations to come. Our mission has its origin in space, where the orbits of the moon and the sun create tidal movements in our oceans from the forces of gravity. Where tidal movements are channeled between land masses or around headlands, the flows can become accelerated, like giant, deep rivers. With water being over 800 times the density of air, these tidal streams offer a colossal source of renewable power that is as predictable as the orbits that create them. Our team at Orbital have spent over 17 years developing a revolutionary technology aimed at harnessing this resource, with a mission to provide sustainable clean power to millions of people, homes and businesses around the world. In 2016, we launched the SR2000. At two megawatts generating capacity, it was the world's most powerful tidal turbine ever to go into operation. We installed it in the waters off the Orkney Islands in Scotland at the European Marine Energy Centre, where it was exposed to some of the harshest tidal conditions on the planet. Not only did it break records in power production, but it totally validated our novel approach to solving the tidal challenge by attaching turbines to a floating platform rather than a fixed structure on the seabed. That way we can build and install turbines at far lower costs, whilst ensuring we can service them cheaply and quickly, with technicians accessing the turbine like a mechanic stepping onto a boat. The SR2000 was a breakthrough, but we knew we could do better, generate more power and do it cheaper. That's always our goal. So, with over 100 years of engineering experience behind us, and climate change getting ever worse, we set about a redesign knowing we had to be bold. We had to push the limits of engineering and imagination. And through that, we came up with the O2. So the principles of the technology are really simple. We have a main tube structure that acts as our hull floating on the surface, and that's moored with an anchoring system. And inside there, we have a lot of the power equipment and electrical control stuff. That can be accessed quickly and cheaply on the surface. Now underneath the hull, we have two leg structures. At the end of each of these legs are our power generating nacelles with rotors that are capturing the energy from the tidal currents. And the clever bit of the technology is, we know that we need to do servicing and maintenance on these nacelles. So when we do that, the entire leg structure is hinged so that we can bring it up to the surface to be able to get low cost easy access to those nacelles. This, this is the solution for low-cost tidal stream energy. But building at this size just wouldn't generate enough power. We need to think about doing it bigger, much bigger. The floating superstructure is the same length as a 747 jumbo with 18 meter long legs supporting 100 ton nacelle assemblies. At over 10 meters in length, the O2 will have some of the longest blades ever seen on a tidal turbine, giving it a total swept area of over 600 square meters, or about the same area as one and a quarter basketball courts. And from that, at full power, the turbines will be able to generate 2.5 megawatts of power at rotor shaft. Each of the mooring lines for the O2 is strong enough to pick up over 20 double-decker buses. In service, a single O2 will be capable of generating enough clean power to meet the annual demand of over 1,700 UK homes. And we're super excited. We're building the first one right now. It's going to be like nothing this world has ever seen before. To help us, we've called on a supply chain that spans the UK and Europe and proudly, we've drawn on our engineering heritage from home, right here in Scotland. Scottish steel has been worked into the world's most powerful tidal turbine, 
on grounds where once Scotland drove at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution. That just seems fitting on every level. From old industries, we can build new ones. New industries for a cleaner future. A future that depends on curing climate change. Solutions are needed now, more than ever before, if we're to give our children a healthy, sustainable planet. So please, follow our mission to turn the tide and become a solution.